Hello Aries. This is a special video just for you. This is in reference to your current situation. So Aries, we're going to get started here with in fact the Nine of Swords which comes up first for you. Aries, I see your despair. I see your worry. It also feels like the energy here is pulling you downwards. It's something that's created such disappointment. Even illusions that you've allowed to come into your mind, you've taken the story or the situation and multiplied it by 10. <clears throat> I understand why you did that because things did not feel or look or seem as if they've worked out in your favor. But you've talked to somebody, you've definitely um, confided in someone about what was going on. This person wanted to comfort you and tried to be of help to you with suggestions and ideas that you just did not want to consider at the time. I feel like a lot of you Aries know that something right now is going to take its time on um, developing into the relationship that you want it to be. There is work yet to be done. However, as I said, starting off with how you feel here, okay, in this situation. And then, like I said, you were confiding and talking to someone, telling them how you felt. You were trying to trust in these people to get them to support you, try to make you believe that something was going to get better, something was going to change. But because nothing happened very quickly, you doubted what they said. For one of the people that you're speaking to, they may have told you that they saw your partner with someone else. That may have been a third party situation, which is then you here with the devastation and feeling on your face as if you don't know what to believe or you're having trouble believing what you've been told. Now, I understand that, but I also understand that it's also taken some time for you to be able to move forward, but you're wanting to take that risk. You see, you're wanting to take the risk. You're wanting to give them another chance. You're wanting to work on things. You're struggling very hard to try to find a way to understand what exactly is going on. For some of you, I feel like you are trying to manifest things, trying to bring things towards you. Now, for some of you, Aries, because of the situation, the risk that you were taking, it felt like it was going to dramatically change something. But at the same time, at the same time, as you took a risk, as you move forward, then you started to try to uh, read into something. You tried to understand or get a better understanding of what happened. For some of you, sleeping is definitely a big issue here. Trying to relax, trying to write everything down, trying to vent things from your mind by journaling. For some of you, this may not have been the first rodeo that you've been through with this person or the first round, so to speak. For some of you, this person has definitely walked away before. They have turned their back and went into another direction. For some of you, this person has left you out in the cold and left you standing wondering what the hell is going on here. I get it. I get it. I also see you've tried very hard to meditate to manifest, to try to bring this person back to you. Some of you know exactly what it is you're doing. Some of you, there is no ifs, ands, or buts here. Some of you <clears throat> know that this person is, in fact, your soulmate. This person is somebody who's wanting to figure out a way to make something work. They are struggling with that decision right now because as you look at the Four of Cups, this person doesn't know what to do. They can't make up their mind. They've got somebody on their side. They've got somebody who's wanting to come in and help, but they're not seeing that. They're not seeing that somebody's willing to bring another cup in, yet another choice. There's a way out. There's a decision here that can be made. There is a solution to the problem. This person wants to come in and show that solution, but but they're just feeling as if this, this really isn't working for me. I, I can't figure it out. Why am I not seeing what I need to see? They have the tools that they're available to them in order to make something right, to make something work. At the same time, they hold the keys to your heart. 
There's no doubt about it. They hold the keys to your heart. For some of you, there may be some off and on communication. There may be somebody looking up information on what to do next. Somebody is definitely reading about this or learning about this or trying to make a better choice or decision based on information that they receive. Now, what I am going to say is, for some of you, there's other people listening to these conversations. There's other people that are paying attention to what's going on around you. Somebody is definitely not minding their own business, so be careful with whoever you're dealing with. They are getting ready to come towards you. However, for the moment, you're pausing. You're trying to leave all the worries behind you. You're trying to meditate and move forward. You're trying to focus on what's to come. You're trying very difficultly, but, but successfully, staying focused, staying positive, Aries. That's a good thing. For some of you, I feel you may be trying to throw your own cards, do your own tarot, see your own outcomes. For some of you, you may be trying to do spells or rituals. You may be trying to do something through witchcraft that brings this person back to you. For some of you, you are struggling, trying to make a choice or decision between two things, whether to stay in this relationship and wait for it to work out or whether to let go and walk away because some of you feel that this person may not return. The next card that comes up is in fact you trying to clear out the air, so to speak, trying to get rid of the smoke that fogged your view. There was something that created a disillusion, something that may have been false, but it looked to be real to you. Or you may have heard something that sounded a bit far-fetched. It didn't quite sound like the person that you knew. It didn't quite sound like something that they would have done. For some of you, you're wondering if, in fact, it's at all what it seems. For some of you, rumors may have gotten you into the situation that you're in now. For some of you, trying to control or your partner trying to control one another is one of the biggest mistakes that could have been made here. There is someone who is trying to create a balance for you. There is somebody who wants to help to clear the air. There is a message coming to you very soon. This message will help you to move forward. This message will help you to get to the place that you choose to be with this person. Now, some of you, some of you are definitely staying as the hermit, minding your own business, maybe staying home a lot, taking care of small things, getting little things done, trying to occupy your mind, trying to create the diversions that you need in order to go forward or to move forward during the day. Some of you are finding it very difficult to go to work and focus. All you have on your mind is this person and hoping and wanting them to uh, communicate, text you, call you, come and see you to visit. For some of you, there will be an unexpected knock at your door. For some of you. For some of you, Somebody will text you late at night, very late at night. Do not respond with the text late at night. Wait until the morning. You'll get a much different response. You'll get the truth more so in the morning than you would late at night. So be very careful of that situation. For some of you, as I said, your wish is going to be granted very soon. Things are going to fall completely into your hands. You're going to be able to be the one who makes the final decision on what to do, whether you're going to clean up this mess and help them to recreate something with you, or whether you're going to sweep out the dirt right out the door and shut the door and turn around and walk away. Two or three, two or three, two in the afternoon or three in the afternoon is going to be a very important time for someone watching this video. I don't know what that's about, but something is going to happen between two and three. Your last card for this reading, Aries, is in fact the Four of Pentacles. And with the Four of Pentacles, your person is very eager, very anxious to communicate. <coughs> Excuse me, very much wanting to return back to you. 
very much wanting to clear up a situation. They may be struggling financially right now, or they may not be sure what they can do as far as financially to help you. But for some of you, you do depend on your partner to help you out financially, and you're worried that they're not going to be able to help lift the burden that is placed on you right now. Someone out there is looking at eviction at this moment unless this partner returns and helps you out financially. Some of you may be deciding to do something in reference to taking out a loan, handling something with a property, or selling something, definitely selling something. Now, as we get back to the Four of Pentacles, this person is definitely missing you. This person is looking for you as well. This person is not sure whether or not they're ready to tie the knot, but they do know they want to make things right. Somebody is wanting to fix things. Somebody is desperately going to reach out to you. I don't know if they're going to always, because I'm reading for a lot of people, I don't know if they're always going to admit their faults or admit what they had done wrong. For many of you, there is a small percentage of you who will receive that news from your partner about how they lost all the money, how they spent everything, how something happened, maybe due to an addiction of gambling, something of that nature. For some of you, you may hear that this person is in a bad kind of way right now. For some of you, this person may be, in fact, locked up. Somebody may be put away. Somebody may be in the hospital. Somebody may be in jail or prison. Somebody may be, in fact, um, into rehab. Or somebody may be living in a sober living house for some of you. For some of you, your partner could be living just countries away from you. This person may be having trouble getting the money, the finances together to come and see you, but they are working on that. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who keeps wanting to borrow more and more money. And they're making up stories to do that. For some of you, you're dealing with a scammer. You're dealing with somebody who's catfishing you left and right. For some of you, you need to stop sending money. Some of you, whoever that is out there, you've sent over twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to someone. They are not who they say they are. They don't look like they say they look. That is not them in that picture. Some of you need to be careful what you're doing. Some of you really need to be careful. But anyway, this is the final card. Talking about your partner is getting ready. They're getting ready to come towards you. So get ready for the communication because now what you've asked for is coming. But the question is, are you ready for it? That's what the question is.